in this video lecture we will look at some of the changes in the PR interval and how it may help us in diagnosing certain cardiac conditions. Let's start by looking at a question. In which of the following you know, the ECG is seen? Now in this ECG we can clearly say this is the P wave, this is the QRS complex and the PR interval that is the start of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex. So this is normally 3 to 5 small squares, right? But in this case, it is definitely around 7 or 8 small squares, which indicates a delay in conduction through AV node. So that would be the correct answer. Let's look a little further into this. So PR interval starts from the onset of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex. It reflects conduction through the AV node and the normal PR interval is 120 to 200 milliseconds that is 3 to 5 small squares and if PR interval is more than 200 milliseconds that is more than 5 small squares first degree heart block is to be you know is said to be present so this is already we have seen uh, first degree second degree complete heart blocks but just as a reminder clearly this is 5 small squares almost 6 7 8 9 8 or 9 small squares which indicates towards increased PR interval if the PR interval is less than 120 milliseconds, it suggests pre-excitation or the presence of an accessory pathway between the artery and the ventricle because through that accessory pathway, uh, the impulse is conducted on a faster rate or an AV junctional load. AV junctional, uh, AV node or junctional rhythm means the uh, impulse is starting from the AV node. So let's look at this case. Here, if you see, immediately after the P wave, the QRS complex is starting. Hardly there is any. So, PR interval is very reduced. But what more characteristic is this slurred uptake of QRS, um, QRS complex. So, normally the QRS complex will be very, you know, uh, straight, very tall and PA. But in this case, there is a slurred. So, this is called also called as delta wave. in, And this is a diagnosis of wolf parkinson white syndrome or WPW syndrome. Let's look at another question in which condition the characteristic ECG is seen and again if you see the PR interval is reduced and you can see the characteristic slurring. slurring. Now sometimes students get confused between a wide QRS complex and this slurring. Remember uh, obviously there would be some cases where you would have a wide QRS complex but remember that in this case, not only the QRS complex is wide, because it can be wide and you may feel that it is slurring, the PR interval is reduced. So both PR interval being reduced and slurring of QRS complex points towards Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Right? So both have to be, you have to see. Not only there is a you know, you can say that it, it just looks like a wide QRS complex. So yes, it looks like a wide QRS complex, but there is also a reduced PR interval and then there is a slurring. So this point towards the diagnosis of and in many cases in asymptomatic cases uh, this syndrome is diagnosed just by looking at the ECG. Another uh, syndrome that is laul ganong levine syndrome in this the QRS complex and the P interval that is the PR interval is very very reduced but there is no slurring. So absent P, uh, very short PR interval with normal P wave and QRS complex absent delta wave. So in that cases, long ganong levine syndrome is there. Third, you know, case is when you have a junctional rhythm or an AV node. In that case, uh, junctional rhythms are narrow, complex, regular rhythm arising from AV node, right? Because SA node is not functioning or there is some problem. So in that case, the P wave is either absent or abnormal. Abnormal because since the rhythm is starting from the AV node, and it is moving away from the atria. So P wave may be inverted. So short PR interval with a retrograde or inverted P wave. That these two characteristics will point towards a diagnosis of AV junctional rhythm. So we have seen three cases. One is when there is a prolonged PR interval. Second, there is a short PR interval. Short PR interval with slurred uptake or normal uptake. And finally, short PR interval with an inverted P wave then that represents the AV node or junctional rhythm. Thank you.